Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another Notepad++ tip. In this video, we'll learn how we can download and install Notepad++. Now, Notepad++ is a free, uh, very lightweight, open source uh, tax editor. It is uh, a great alternative to Microsoft's Notepad, which is a very basic uh, tax editor. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about why Notepad++ is better than Notepad itself, uh, you can check out the video. I'm going to link it right on the top right corner uh, but let's go ahead and download uh, first the notepad plus plus executable so in order to install first you need to download the executable uh, the process is pretty simple just go to google and search for notepad plus plus and usually it shows up right on the top it's notepad plus plus dot org and you can go to the main website but uh, we are going to go to directly uh, download section uh, now here you have all the different versions of Notepad++ with the top being the latest. And so you click on one, the, the top one. Now there might be a little bit of confusion uh, with what installer should I download. Uh, so let's go back to, to our, uh, our documentation here. There are many different download options out there. Uh, uh, one is an installer in which you will download .exe file and then the other one is a portable installation. Now, under the installer, you the most uh, safest bet would be, uh, you know, 32-bit uh, x86 uh, installation, which is a default option. Uh, but if you're, if you know that your your system is 64-bit, you may want to try 64-bit installer uh, because that is a little faster than usually 32-bit. If you don't know uh, anything about these, then just go ahead and download the default, which is right on the top. Uh, which is uh, right here, this one, okay? Uh, but if you look at here, there are other options about portable also. So what exactly is that? Now, the portable installation is usually where you don't have an admin rights. You, you still need that software, you can use the portable installation. A portable basically means that everything that that Notepad++ needs, everything like all the all the files that that are required to run that application is all in one single folder and so you have option to install portable version using a zip file or a 7 zip file again if you don't know anything about it you can ignore this part uh, portable uh, installation is also useful if you want to take your notepad plus plus installation with you on a thumb drive or a usb drive uh, and you want to make sure that all your configurations are intact and so if you are a, a, like an admin for many different uh, you know computer uh, you can take your notepad plus plus installation with you in usb key with using the portable installation or you might be the one who don't want to install an application and still want to use it you can use the portable installation for our part we'll just use the default installer <coughs> so uh, just a little be careful there's a, an ad right on the top so uh, just click on the download right here and the installation.exe is actually installed. Usually it's in your downloads folder. So right here uh, under my downloads folder, folder, I can see this exe. And installation is pretty straightforward. You just double click on it. Now, as I said, you will need admin rights. And so when I double click, it will pop up a window which you need to accept. Okay, so double click on this and just click yes. And here is just a the installation wizard uh, is again pretty simple and straightforward so you just uh, by by default is set to English language uh, if you want a different language you can use it but I think for the most of us it'll be just English and then click next and then uh, you need to agree with the terms and condition as I said notepad plus plus is a, a free and open source software so you don't need to pay anything about that so you just click I agree and this is the location where it will be installed. So CE program files x86 is the folder. It'll create a notepad++ folder in it. And then it'll install all the files that are required to run that application. So click next. Uh, and here again, there are different options. Uh, defaults are good enough, but if you do want to know what those are, you can actually hover your mouse and you can see that it, it describes what these different options are. And so you can pick and choose. Uh, but as I said, just keep the defaults on and you should, shouldn't have any problem. Click Next. 
if you want to create a notepad plus plus icon on the on your desktop you just check check this box and click installation <clears throat> and so now that the, the installation is completed and you can click run to run notepad plus plus yeah for the first time use use you will get this notification I just click OK and here is your uh, notepad plus plus installation now I have many many videos about notepad plus uh, plus features and so uh, if you guys are interested in learning more about notepad plus plus make sure you check out my channel uh, I have posted numerous videos about notepad plus plus and also have created a number of playlists and so the best place to start would be just a notepad plus plus tutorial for beginners and then you can look into different uh, videos and learn about notepad plus plus if you want to get notified about the new videos make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon uh, and you will be notified whenever i post a new video okay so here is how notepad plus plus looks like uh, let's try just a simple uh, one or two tricks uh, and so we are complete we just completed the installation and in order to get started with notepad plus plus uh, you just either open notepad plus plus from your start menu or your desktop icon uh, as i said there are there are numerous features that are really powerful but we'll take just few of them uh, take a look at few of them and so if i go back in order to start a new uh, full uh, new file you just click here file new and then you can start typing and so on right and if you want to save it you can go to file or save or click this one and then you can create uh, uh, you can save this file now notepad plus uh, plus supports many many different programming languages and so here is is the list of all of those and so you can create a new file of any of these type let's try just uh, for this uh, simplicity just HTML file so I'm going to call this uh, test.html and I'm going to put it on downloads folder and click save and so this is my first HTML file uh, again you need to learn how to code in HTML but uh, this is uh, this is one file that we just created um, let me bring this here <coughs> now because this notepad plus plus already knows that this is an HTML file if I start actually coding HTML you can see that it automatically adds a syntax highlighting all colors to uh, to these uh, uh, this uh, text right and so so that is inbuilt the syntax highlighting so based upon what languages you pick uh, the the syntax highlighting is provided uh, there are also different themes so currently it's just a plain theme if you want to switch to dark theme you can go to settings go to preferences and there's a dark mode right here and I'm going to click enable dark mode and you can see now it's in a dark mode <clears throat> there are other themes also you can try uh, under style configurator again check my channel to learn more about these if you want to add it different parts of notepad plus plus you can go to settings preferences and then there are numerous options here uh, to customize your notepad plus plus and finally uh, if you want to improve or, or enhance the, the the capability of notepad plus plus there are tons of plugins out there uh, that are free and so you can install new plugins you can go to plugins menu plugin admin and here you can search for different uh, plugins if you're interested uh, and install it the, again the installation is very simple and straightforward and so uh, this is how you can install uh, download and install notepad plus plus uh, this is windows 10 but the the installation process should work for any win any windows app uh, uh, operating system now before you leave make sure that you check that uh, playlist that i have specified about how to start uh, in notepad plus uh, plus i'm going to link it right here so make sure that you check that out all right thank you very much